when after I first got hurt and got out of the hospital, I had a lot of like very good friends and family that kind of kicked me in the butt and told me, you know, get out of the house, go play some sports, you know, we'll go figure out how to um, play basketball, we'll go figure out how to get you on a boat to fish. I had that. A lot of guys didn't have that. Guys and girls didn't have that that I had. So I started going back to the hospital and mentoring these people. And the city of Pinellas Park approached me about the same time and said, hey, we have 10 acres of land. We'd like your input on you know, what you'd like to see happen. And me and my dad were sort of kicking around the idea, like what about a recreational park that's like fully adapted for wheelchairs? After leaving that meeting with the city council, that's what we decided to come up with the idea for this. And so why are you doing this? Um, because you know, there's a lot of people out there and just whenever I see somebody in need that needs to help, needs to help or just find something like a problem to be, that can be solved, I like to jump on board and help out. That just makes me feel good about myself and can, keeps me going. Um, Armed Forces Family Foundation is the, is the organization that hosts the Skyway 10K. I met, I met the representative and they came up to the park and we showed them everything and they decided to help out by giving us the funds to, for the pavilion that you see behind me. What inspired you to give back to the community? Well, like when I got hurt, I just seen the platform that the opportunities that came around, the people that I were meeting, the businesses, the executives, and things like that. It started with, you know, just getting guys that I served with jobs. And that made me feel really good. That I'm able to change people's lives, you know, I, I decided to take advantage of that opportunity and help out. All right, well, their grand opening will be later this morning at Lurie Park. And uh, that will start at 11.30 and the ribbon cutting will be at 12.15.